Alrighty guys, welcome back to episode number four on our Dark Wolf 20 server play let's play series or server let's play series. Uh I was just playing around here on the server and I thought that it might be a good time to go take a peek at these Endermen. <laughs> uh well No, I say that this may end up being an awful idea. Yeah, I I don't know what I was planning there. And, um, yeah, there we go. So I've got, um, a few fun things planned up for this episode. Uh, come on. Come on, don't lag. So this might be just a little bit loud. Hang on. Uh, go somewhere else. Oh my god, piss off, you idiot. Well, that almost went well. I did manage to get six under pearls from that. That wasn't awful. Though I do apologize that that was uh, such a mess. Let me tweak my audio. There we go. That should be a little bit better. Uh, so I was working on some audio adjustments here to hopefully try to get the TeamSpeak to sound a little better, but it doesn't seem to be. I went ahead and invited Officer Fat Boy onto the server, seeing if he wanted to get on since I was recording, but we'll see if he takes me up on that offer or not. It doesn't really matter to me, but it's always worth giving him a shout anytime I do, just in case he does. Uh, any guests on my, or not guests, but you know, players on the server who I can chat with are always fun to have around, so it's always fun to get that going, uh, or try to get that going whenever I can. So I actually have not done a whole ton of work uh, off camera here, specifically trying to avoid leaving uh, everyone behind on the uh, on the let's play. I do want to try to keep everything uh, pretty in sync with what I record. That way, no one ends up, uh, you know, watching my series and being like, "Wow, that was a lot of progress made between episodes. Why didn't you bother to uh, to keep us informed?" So I never want to be like that. I always want to keep you guys kind of able to watch and watching. So today's plan is uh, to make some better tools. These Tinker's tools are great, but they aren't the best material I could have chosen for them. Uh, so I'm going to sit here and do a little bit of caving here real quick while I'm here. I've been wanting to explore this cave. I figured I'd bring y'all with me so you could see a few things that uh, this pickaxe can do. Uh, this sword, on the other hand, I grabbed some nether quartz, which, as I think I've mentioned, does uh, does allow you to increase the damage done per strike on your sword. But I haven't put it on this sword because this actually is not a very great sword as far as the material goes. Uh, this was not my number one choice, but it was uh, a good choice for early game. And so that's why I went with it, and I don't have any regrets at all. But it is about time that I make a little bit of progress here. Um in the direction of sort of the tools that I'll want to have once everything is said and done. Um, I don't know what's up there. I kind of want to find out. But I'm mostly looking for... Oh, not that. Why the fuck is this a thing? Why is that a thing? Perfect. I 
I don't understand why that skeleton was able to shoot me through the lava. I don't like this. I don't think that was fair. But, uh, let me see. So, uh, I do need some more copper. That's one resource that I've found myself kind of low on. I haven't used it that much, I will admit. But, uh, I know that I will be. And so I like to go ahead and kind of... Uh, my, my method, a lot of people like to build as many machines as they can with what they've got. And then they'll just go back and get more resources later. Uh, I like to make sure that I actually have a... A ton of resources, more than I'll probably end up needing. That way, when I end up making everything that I want to make, it will, uh, it won't break the bank. Sort of just how I like to play, but that's just me. I don't suppose it really matters. Um, so that's why I've done so much mining and so little actual building. I mean, like you saw how much, uh, ore mining I had done before I even built my first pulverizers in any RF production. But, uh, I did go ahead and give those, uh, Give those generators more coal so that they could power our machines for a little bit longer. Oh, hello. Hello, Creeper. Well, you can just go somewhere else. That's fine. I didn't really want to. So, um... I guess right now the game plan is we're going to go back to the Nether and mine up some of that blue stuff that I showed you guys last episode. Uh, and I looked at it and I tried to mine it and then I very quickly remembered that I do not have any of the required resources... Uh, as far as a tool goes, they can mine that, and that was a mistake on my own part, and it was a dumb one because, uh, I, well, it wasn't a dumb one, but I felt dumb for not thinking about it because it was really kind of an obvious thing that I should have known. You know, this was part of the uh, part of the step in the right direction that I should have been taking, and I just didn't think about it. As you can see, this chest is a uh, pretty jam packed, so it's about time that I make another chest. I'm going to go ahead and make a, another gold chest. As you can see, I have made quite a few gold chests between this episode and the last because I honestly uh, cannot say that I need all this gold. And even if I did, I don't need quite that much gold. Because I do have a, uh, a abundance of gold, even for this level. So we'll make this a gold chest, and I'm basically going to go ahead, and I, this episode I also plan on fixing these chests up a little bit and labeling them. But I'm basically just going to go ahead and differentiate the uh, the chests here. So this is going, I'm going to go ahead and spit out any items that are mob drops. Uh, because that's what this ne this new chest that I just made is going to end up being for, is a mob drops chest, and that will leave this chest here as sort of an organics chest. Drops, drops. You know, I don't really see a whole lot of, uh, a lot more drops. Not as many as I had expected, honestly. Well, that works for me, I guess. So I've actually gotten a decent amount of ender pearls as well, which is a uh, a great, great, great thing. And uh, you know, I'll go ahead and start baking up some of these potatoes. I've got a lot of potatoes, and they can they could be baked up real quick, real easy. And I will go ahead and dump these new ores here. And I should have... Did I process all of my shiny? Yeah, I've got 30 shiny ingots. That is pretty great. Uh, let's take a look. I have not... Uh, have not given... My energy cell a look. Oh, it's not doing that bad at all. I'll go ahead and give, uh, give each one of these generators another half a stack of coal. Why not? But yeah, today uh, was a pretty interesting day for me. Yesterday, my uh, cousin came by from. He normally lives in. Uh, he normally lives in Louisiana, but he's been traveling here lately, uh, just kind of trying to get his himself together. Which I, I applaud him for. I think that's actually a really great idea for some people, and I think he was in a point in his life where he really just needed to take a minute and kind of establish what he wanted to do at this point. So. He, uh, part of his trip, he just said that he was going to be coming through the, uh, coming through the town, or coming through in the area, and so, uh, he came over last night, stayed the night, 
and uh today he was he boy well, yesterday he was like you know hey what are y'all doing tomorrow and me and my mother both said well uh work he's like well you know do you do, do y'all mind if we stay and whatever and we well we brought up actually more than he did you know the idea of us skipping work and uh you know spending the day with them just kind of getting to visit with them because again we don't really get to see them that often uh well get to see him he was with a lady friend uh, who he had met who was actually from the uk she was great company very fun um but yeah so he uh he came by last night and so today we actually went out and did touristy things in our own town which you'd be surprised how awkward that is going around seeing all the tourist attractions that you never really remembered were there or never really thought to care about being there because you know you're not a tourist and it doesn't really matter uh, you know, it's kind of an kind of an not awkward thing, but it's it's certainly strange. So yeah, now what I need is to get. Um, so I don't think I need anything. I've got everything I need right now. So the plan, there is a material of Tinker's tool that we can make, and I'm gonna be making one, and it's going to involve obsidian in the creation of this material and you guys probably already know uh what i'm making this probably isn't going to come as any sort of surprise to you so i do apologize if you're like completely familiar with what i'm doing and could care less about the uh walkthrough part of this but i'm going to go ahead and grab myself two pieces of obsidian using our lovely lava drum here And with these two pieces of obsidian, we'll go ahead and stick them in our smeltery here in just a minute. I'll, I'll just kind of prepare myself a little better before I do that. I can quickly do that. So I'm going to need two pieces of obsidian. Uh, two ore worth of um, iron, which is technically four iron. And then with my aluminum, I'm going to need 10 aluminum, because it's 5 ore worth of aluminum, which, if you remember the math behind it, is doubled. So we need to double whatever the ratio would normally be, because obsidian counts as an ore of sorts. So we'll go ahead and get all of this melting up, and this is gonna, this is gonna, oh, that's not a terrible idea to go ahead and do that. This is gonna go ahead and uh, melt. Meanwhile, you know, you guys know me. I do like to go ahead and sleep through the night because the uh, the mobs are pretty bad. So yeah, so last night I uh, while they they actually went out after they got here, um, my cousin and his friend went out and saw uh, the Gaylord Opryland Hotel, and uh, it's a I say that slow because I had to remember like all the parts of the name. Uh, it's a it's a hotel here that's actually really enormous and has some really neat stuff. They went out and saw it, which is something we've seen before several times actually in the past when we were when I was much younger. Uh, but they went out and saw that in last night, and while they were gone, I decided to move some stuff around in my bedroom and uh, relocated my bed uh, or rather my desk setup over next to the window, moved my bed right next to my door to my bedroom. And moved my desk, like I said, over by the window, directly beneath where I had my television wall mounted. And I hooked up my desktop computer over to the desktop, or rather to the uh, monitor, or TV rather, so that the setup is now a dual display setup with the monitor directly above, or rather my TV directly above my monitor. So it's really cool that I'm able to uh, sort of have this as reference. I usually keep up the IRC channel or other YouTube uh, stuff over there. I am on the uh, Direwolf 20 IRC, if you guys were not aware. Um, but yeah, I usually keep that up over there, and uh, it sort of serves its own purpose uh, as a as an extra. And I'm still waiting for this obsidian to melt. It takes a little while. But uh, when I did that, I uh, went ahead and set up the Wii to output the audio through my main set of speakers. And got the Wii hooked up again, because I have one. I just never used it. Uh, but yeah. So now that this has created the uh, the alloy here, the alloy that was created was called alumite. And we're just going to go ahead and make... Uh, I don't really see why we should do uh, a whole lot of waste on, uh, on time on this. This pickaxe doesn't really get used for very long. So we're just going to go ahead and make all the parts out of alumite. Because, like I said, I'm not going to use the alumite itself for much of anything. 
In fact, I'll probably end up dumping it. Um, well, I'll go ahead and make ingots, but I don't think I'll actually use the ingots for anything. Why did that make... Less than... I should have made... Yeah, okay, I was going to say, what? That's, that's a possible desync bug, maybe? I'm not sure. I was going to say, because that should have left me with four ingots, and I think it has. I think there was just a bit of a, maybe a math error or a rounding error there. Who knows? Uh, yeah, it looks like it, but eh, doesn't matter. So I'll keep the alumite around in case I ever find myself using it for another tool part, maybe. Um, it's nice and pink, but there is that. But uh, we'll come over here and just kind of put this all together and just call it... Um, metal pick. And we'll go ahead and grab this pickaxe, and you're going to see that it has a mining level of cobalt, which is in comparison to this one, which has a mining level of obsidian. Cobalt is one level above obsidian, which is why we could not mine the cobalt in the nether, which was that blue stuff. Now we can. So uh, that's pretty great. I'll come over here and grab these ender lilies. I'm trying to keep up with them because I will eventually want to use plenty of them, and, uh, plenty of ender pearls rather. So I don't want to uh, run into any problems with a shortage. I thought I heard a pigman. Guess not. But we'll go over here to the uh, nether again, which should have been kept pretty safe, except for fire bats, which aren't really that threatening. Uh, that's one upside of having built the uh, having built the nether portal in a building is you don't end up with creepers creeping through and uh, ruining your day, which gets really annoying. But we'll go ahead and grab this piece of cobalt. Damn. So I do want a few pieces. I'm going to fly around here and see how many I can get. Because uh, I do want quite a few. If I do the math, I'm going to want four pieces, or two pieces rather, um, for my normal tools. I'm going to need another piece plus another piece of Ardite, the yellow-ish ore. Um, oh, and you know what? Let me... No, I'm gonna need to go back to the nether portal real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and waypoint it. That way, I don't run into an issue of being doomed. I may already be the portal. There it is. That's where I thought. I thought it was in this area. We'll make it portal, and we'll make it purple. Perfect. Uh, sorry about the flame effect, by the way. I could turn my particles down, but honestly, I kind of think that the distracting flame is sort of a balance to the fact that I am a fireproof flying bat of hell. Just saying. Kind of unbalanced otherwise. <laughs> I get wool of bat from fire bats. That's pretty funny. I like it. I, I find that funny about Minecraft code. Minecraft code kind of some things with mobs are really inspecific, so basically if you make your monster that you code in yourself, or any animal, monster, creature, whatever, if you make it so that it sort of branches off of an existing monster, like a spider with the, uh, spider's a good example for the nether spiders here, the, uh, what are they called? Called, uh, what are they called? Heat scar spiders. Uh, if you use heat scar spiders, for an example here, they extend off of the uh, vanilla spider code and the vanilla spider uh, file. So, so, and it seems like any if I had done something for my own mod that modified vanilla spiders, like adding um, uh, adding a random drop for spiders, they will uh, it kind of merges over into them a little bit. And uh, so, anything that I did with my mod, even though I never wanted to talk to Tinker's construct. It, or rather, Natura, my apologies, they're not the same mod. It would still interact. Um, like, they were one and the same. So I think that's kind of funny. It's kind of, uh, kind of a pain, actually. For things that just don't really fit. 
that being said, uh, that's just kind of the nature of the beast of Minecraft coding. It doesn't really matter. It's just things that I'm picky about. So that's one of the one of the things. Is, you know, fire bats extend off of normal bats, and wool of bat is a specific drop that was. I'm sure it wasn't intended to come from a fire bat. It may be. I mean, I can't say that it's illogical. If it comes from one, it can come from the other. But you know, I'm sure the code itself was probably only specifically meant to go to a normal bat. So I still haven't seen any Ardite yet. Uh, not this trip, at least. I think I saw some on another trip in the past. Uh, Ardite is a sort of yellowish-orange ore that spawns pretty much the same way as the Cobalt, which we've been mining, spawns. And it's just curious that I haven't seen any yet. I'm just going to kind of fly around, see what I can find. I understand that I'm using Morph in like a super... Uh, here we go. In a way that, you know, is super, I guess, imbalanced and using it basically for every penny it's worth. But I I don't normally install Morph, but if I'm going to have it, which this pack already comes with it, I might as well use it the way it's, you know, able to be used. I'll go ahead and grab a little more Ardite. It does make for a good tool material, I guess, for some things. Uh, for tool traits. Let me see if I can find more Cobalt. Yeah, there's some more. So I don't need a whole ton, but I'd like to end up with about 16 Cobalt if I can. Um, and I'm already at 8, so I don't think it's going to be all that difficult. So I am going to... Uh, Go ahead and, I, you know, I, I don't normally do time lapses, but I've really been enjoying doing time lapses. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, if you guessed it, I'm going to do a time lapse. So I will be right back while I go ahead and get that, uh, get the last of the cobalt. And all right, I hope you enjoy the time lapse. Alright guys, so we are back from the nether. I hope you guys enjoyed that little time lapse there. Between that little time lapse, I've actually had the chance to enjoy some pizza, which was delicious. So I picked up 10 Ardite, 17 Cobalt. I thought I picked up 18. Oh wait, no, I was going to pick up 16, so I actually picked up one more than I wanted. So hooray for me. Let's get started now, why don't we? Uh, so let me grab the... Lava drum, and I picked up plenty more quartz. We're going to want um, about that much quartz. And we will. Uh, you know, I'll just go ahead and keep that extra bucket because it'll be needed by the time I'm done here. So we'll go ahead and take, we'll just go ahead and melt. Um, yeah, we'll melt all of this because we will need it. <coughs> and so we will wait for it to melt. It does take just a little while. But, uh, you know, it's not a big deal. We'll go ahead and make a stack of quartz blocks here, though. Because we're going to probably want those uh, here pretty soon. We'll go ahead and put away our new mob drops. Did I happen to have any wool of bat left over? No, I didn't. Just making sure, because I didn't think I remembered having any, but you never know. So, um... While this cobalt melts, I did promise you guys that I would make labels for these chests, so why don't we do that? So, I like using the bibliocraft labels. I think they're pretty great. Um, there's only ten labels. I think I only needed seven. That's just fine with me. So, we'll go ahead and put these labels on like I just did, and I'll start labeling these items. So, uh, I generally like to use um, some pretty distinguishing labels. That way we don't have to sit here and be like, well, uh, what's in there? I don't like that. I think it's kind of dumb. So now we can just walk by, see, oh, yeah, that's uh, that's my, my building blocks chest, or that's my junk chest, or 
That's my mod items chest. So I try to use some items. Oh, there's my wooden bat. I try to use items that are pretty uh, <clears throat> distinguishably. Oh, that's technically a mob drop too. Uh, pretty distinguishably um, descriptive for that proper chest. At least I try. And so, uh, you know, you'll, you'll probably notice notice that I try to keep that keep that uh, layout. That flower doesn't sit in there properly. Let's see if an apple does. Yeah, that's a little better. And we'll put the trophy there like it's supposed to be. That technically should go in there. It's not really an organic. This is sort of my catch-all chest. Um, and that mostly includes plants. So, uh, hopefully we have enough room for blah, 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 blah. Yes, we do. Cool beans. So, this will give us 32 ingots of cobalt. And I think we'll actually want this last one's worth as well. Why not? So, with all this cobalt, what am I going to do? I'm going to make brand new tools. That's right. Pretty exciting. I'm going to use cobalt for the, uh, the headpiece for pretty much a lot of tools. Cobalt is the fastest mining uh, material that is in uh, Tinker's Construct. If we just look at our mining speed... Oh, wait, that doesn't work. Pickaxe head. No oh, <laughs> I know why. Uh, let me see. Creative tabs. Cool parts. There we go. Uh, let's see, coal, actually, you know what, let's just see, mining speed. So, this tells us the mining speed, of course, and so you're going to see here that the mining speed goes from three and a half, we're going to go four, six, you can kind of see that the mining speed is right here, and uh, the red and orange are kind of, the, the more blue, I think it's blue that's better, um, so blue is going to be the better speed, and you'll see that the yellows and blues are kind of as follows. Steel is green, which is okay. Uh, yellow is uh, manulin as well as uh, ardite, but you'll see that mining speed 14 is pretty unique to cobalt. Uh, that's because it is literally the fastest uh, material you can use for a pickaxe head and also has a decent amount of durability. It's kind of balanced. Manulin has the most at 1200, but 800 is pretty freaking good, you've got to admit. Um, so yeah, we uh, we seem to have our manulin ready here, which is fantastic as well, because manulin actually has a greater attack damage. Uh, so let me see. Uh, attack. Manulin will do two hearts as a base, whereas cobalt only does a heart and a half. And it does have, like I mentioned, more durability, so that's, you know, if you care. Then there's that going for you. And if you don't care, then, you know, good for you. You don't care. So we actually have plenty of cobalt here to make pretty much all the tools that I want. Which was why I went out and got so much. I'm going to make cobalt tools uh, for all of my... Um, you know, looking at this, I can actually make a broad axe out of it as well. And I'm actually still going to have some left over. That's pretty cool. I like that. Not a whole lot, but enough that I'll cast it into ingots. We'll go and cast this into ingots. Uh, and we'll, as you can see, you can see that we uh, are already planning ahead pretty nicely here. So with these extra cobalt ingots, we'll just go ahead and melt them down. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and melt this ardite down, too, because I do want um, ardite for some of my plates, for my tool materials. And last but not least, we will make a manulin sword blade. And that empties out this tank until the uh, ardite melts. So at this point, we are left at the point of making the rest of our tool parts, which is... Sort of the easy part. Now, uh, I don't want to have to use manulin, or rather, manulin and cobalt 
all the time to have to repair these tools because that's going to get expensive. I don't like having to make a trip to the nether every now and then to get more cobalt because uh, that's pretty dangerous, as you are probably able to figure out by now, as you've seen. Uh, it's pretty pretty risky to go to the nether sometimes. So, to avoid that, I actually have found somewhere a magical forest biome. And I don't remember where it was. There was It was on this map, I think. I'll just have to find it. <clears throat> but a magical forest biome is uh is known for having little clumps of mossy cobblestone just kind of sitting on the ground from where uh from where just the magic is just, I guess seeping from the world or something I don't I don't really know what the uh logic was there but I don't disagree it is a uh nice way of getting some mossy cobblestone if that's what you're looking for and that is what I'm looking for because we can use the mossy cobblestone to make a piece of moss which we can throw on our tools to give them automatic repair <clears throat> which is essentially that it is a free uh method of repairing your tools so let me take a look and see if i can distinguish anything that like a magical forest no well that's okay because i know of another place where we can get some mossy cobblestone but not a whole lot Um, I'm going to take this guy out real quick. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so, one of the cool things that I found in my mine shaft is a uh, is a dungeon. I just don't remember which way it was. I think it was this way. I'm pretty sure it was this way. Because I started mining and then... Oh, I thought it was this way. Maybe not. Uh, because yeah, I thought... Found it. <clears throat> Maybe it was this way. Yeah, here we go. Oh, and I never did loot it. Whoops. Haha, <laughs> well. There you have that. And I never did finish exploring this cave either. Wow, I didn't realize how much I forgot here, actually. I forgot about how much I forgot. I will take this lapis because I'm going to need it for all these new tools I'm fixing to make, though. I'm not really sure why the server's lagging so bad. Uh, it might be my own internet connection. Uh... Yeah, it's not that bad now. There's some more lapis, which we'll use, of course. But, uh, oh, hey, tin. I do need tin as well. I'll take all the tin I can find. Aha, and more copper. I know this wasn't meant to be as a mining trip, but it uh it has become one. Brace yourselves, I do apologize. Uh we'll just go ahead and throw a few things in here. Cool beans. <clears throat> so, let's get back into focus here. Um, there. And grab my bronze hammer. Because I'm going to come here and say, wait, what? And we'll grab all of this mossy cobblestone. So. 
So that's about 40. That's not a great deal, but it's something. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and morph back into a bat so that I can quickly fly up here. That slime is pretty annoying. I think you're in here, aren't you? Somewhere? Maybe? There you are. Well, there's one of them. I'm not terribly concerned. It just, it does get a little bit annoying. Oh, maybe, uh, Marx's little mine area here? No. No. Oh, well, whatever. So this is where Marx has been mining, just a random little chunk out. I think I'm going to go with the same method, except down lower. Uh, just mine out a massive room. Come on, server. Wake up. Maybe I have solved it. Is it a TPS issue? Mm, kind of, but not really. 15 ingots of Ardite, but, um, there's our mossy cobblestone, and you can see, oh wait, what? Oh, that's not cheaty. I didn't know that was a recipe. That's, uh, that's something. I actually might be able to use that to my advantage. I knew about the moistener recipe, and that doesn't, that's, uh, that's a recipe that I've been well aware of for a long time. But, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find some more of that mossy cobblestone, because I want a decent amount, more than I've actually got. And, uh, it's gonna probably become a problem if I don't get a hold of any. Meanwhile, I'm gonna see if I can also, uh, Take care of this lag, so I will be right back once I've got more Mossy Cobble and more connection. Alright, so I just came back from my little trip out and about, and actually got a few decent little resources while I was out. Uh, I was able to pick up a few bits of Mossy Stone, and I also picked up other little miscellaneous things that were in some dungeon loot chests i guess you could say so let me see if i can begin to organize this just a little bit it's gonna be kind of tough i do have a lot of stuff here bat and uh, that there these two here, here. So I will go ahead and uh, upgrade. Well, I can't. Uh, da -da -da, make a gold to diamond chest upgrade. This chest. Because I have a lot of stuff that needs to go in here. So I'll go and put the Yalomite pickaxe that I'm no longer using up here, and I think I'm still holding on to a beast on you if I am. I don't actually have any plans for it quite yet, but I will eventually. Uh, and then I have a lot of records, which will eventually get used up, I'm sure, and uh, I think it's a Oh yeah, that's right. It uh for some reason just stands or music stands, whatever they're called, are hidden. Uh thanks to Wayla tooltips. I'm gonna just uh take a nap. Go ahead and avoid having to walk up to my bed now that I made this knapsack, and by knapsack I mean sleeping bag. So Head up. That's right, I was going to make one of these. There we go. And put you there. Beautiful. So, yeah. Uh, all of this Ardite has finished melting. We do have 18 ingots worth. And so, oh, be little guy. 
Uh, so I do want to go ahead and start working on my tools. So let's get going. Uh, so we have all of our tool heads down here. And I'm going to uh, really cleverly plan this out this time around. Instead of being uh, kind of not wasteful, but frivolous, I guess you could say, with these tools where I just did whatever I felt like. Uh, that's not going to be the case. So I should have in one of these chests, if I can keep it in my brain, some sugar cane. I'll leave three in here so that I can make sure that I have... Actually, I don't need sugar cane. I've got paper. Never mind. Keep it around just in case. But we're going to go ahead and come over here to the uh, part builder, and I'm going to make... Uh, it's the wrong item. I'm going to make... Four thomic tool rods, and that should be plenty. And then I'm going to make a paper tool binding and wide guard. And as I'm sure you can guess, I'm going to want my mossy cobblestone. I need one, two, that's actually exactly enough. We'll go ahead and make. Seven balls of moss. Oh yeah, and I also need my nether quartz that I set aside. I'll take all of my lapis, my redstone, and bring this with me. Put it here. Well, not there. A block over to the left would have been where I meant to put it. There we go. Much better. This guy will be cool because we can do uh, some upgraded and modified uh, things here in a minute. So we'll take our uh, four rods and put them there, and we'll go ahead and make our sword, which I'm going to name. And you can see it's got decent durability. And five modifiers. We're going to name it Purple People Leader, I guess. And then for the pickaxe, we will name this. Rain Miner, and oh, we will call it, um, do we want to call it? Hmm. <laughs> We'll call it XLT or XL Trowel. XLT is like lingo for extra large tall, and I'm a tall guy, so it's kind of funny. And then we will just call this uh, Andy Hatchet. Perfect. Good enough for me. So those are our basic tools, and we're going to go ahead and throw a piece of moss on each one. And that way, these tools will be able to repair themselves for free, and it will be a great bit of use. So, uh, at this point, I also want to take the time to upgrade my pickaxe with lapis. So, actually, you know, I can uh, let's do this. That, and that should be plenty to get started, I hope. Fortune 2, Fortune, how much lapis is that? 353 or 450, that's pretty close. I'm also going to throw lapis on the sword eventually, but not right now. So right now it's doing uh, 5 hearts. How many modifiers does that leave me now? That's enough. I want a sword that can do a lot of damage. Uh, that's pretty important to me. Still.
256. Go ahead and. It's 264, 272, 280, 288, and I think that's got it maxed. Yep, there we go. So this is going to do 10 hearts of damage in one hit, approximately. These are approximate values, but it's a very decent little upgrade. Uh, for the pickaxe, I don't have any other upgrades that I really want to put on it yet. I might put uh, I might put speed on it. I don't know. I feel like it mines plenty quick as that is. But uh, I might decide against that here in a bit. We'll see. Um, now, here's the uh, sort of, not tricky, well, I guess you can call it tricky part. Um, I don't really know how I should end up doing my uh, other tools, I guess. How much art do I have? 18? I can make... Aha, yeah, I know what I can do. So for the, um... It's a sword blade cast. I don't want a sword blade cast. I want a tough rod cast. For the, for the rods on all three of these, I will make the rod out of, um... Ardite, which has a handle modifier of 2x, which is very great. And then the hammer, if you recall, is going to require two plates, and I only have enough for one plate. But I want to make one of these plates out of it anyways. The other plate I want to make out... I kind of wanted to make it out of something a little more efficient. I don't think I have any more efficient. Um, I don't think that's enough to make a, it might be, it is, excellent. Well, that'll be perfect then. So we'll come over here and go ahead and make it, and uh, like I said, we're going to do the cobalt head, which is going to be quick, paper plate, and then if I remember, this side. There's not really any importance as to which side you choose, but um, I know how this kind of gets covered up once I put more modifiers that I want to put on here. So uh, one of the modifiers I want to put on here is actually going to cover up this side, and I like it. I like the red on the back instead of on the, the white on the back. It makes it seem less like a red, white, and blue hammer. Uh, so we're going to call this uh, Eater of Worlds. You know what? No, we should call it a Pwn Hammer from Terraria. The other reference was also was from also was from Terraria, but not as obviously as this one is. Go ahead and put everything up here, and uh, well, let's give it a shot. That's not the best, but it's not awful. So we will go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and throw some redstone on here, though. That's going to be pretty great. Ten blocks of redstone. We'll make sure to put moss on here. And uh, I forgot to put moss on there before. I normally like to put moss on there first. But uh, that's going to repair, like I said. I need just one modifier. And we're going to obviously get more as we go. Uh, like I said, I think I've said in the past, there are other ways to get modifiers. So I'm not terribly uh, frightened by it. But I do need a way to get paper. And I don't remember if there's another one or not. Because I'm going to want more paper. Uh, let's see. Sawdust. That doesn't really count. Those methods don't. Really count. I could, I could do that. Yeah, pulverize wood. Let's use um, okay, that that would work. We will, uh, we'll do that method because right now I don't have any uh, extra sugar cane, and I will go ahead and go out here and plant it though because I should do that. But I want to use paper for some of these other uh, materials on these tools as well.
you can see this tool is pretty freaking good though. Pretty great. Jeez. What? 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 Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm sure it's unintended. But still pretty cool. We will go ahead and take our nap. And then here in just a minute, I will go ahead and end this episode, and we will get uh, some mining done between this episode and the next one. Of course, you guys know how I am about getting mining taken care of, but uh, that'll be fun. I'll just go ahead and grab another piece of wood, because I'm not going to have an odd, or rather a divisible by four count otherwise. And I've already got buckets. We'll just come over here and grab this crafting station. And I'll stick it right here in the middle of the water. And we can... Place and forget. Kind of. I'll just sit here and do this for a minute. This won't be long. I only have to do this nine, eight more times. But it's quick and it's validating. I don't have to wait for the sugar cane to grow. I can just go. Which is amazing. Because I, like I said, I didn't really prepare to greatly for this as far as sugar cane goes so there's the last of that we'll do that and you can see that all my tools have managed to heal up even though i have been using them here there a little bit and plate material Oh, you know what would be a good uh, plate material? Another rack. Another rack actually isn't a terrible plate material, so may as well. And then I don't actually need as much of this as I needed because I'm going to make the binding out of it, which is a uh, like I like I I have said before, it's the sort of least crucial part. So there is our excavator and our lumber axe. Very cool stuff. Uh, go ahead and throw repair on both of these. And I think that's a good place to wrap up the episode. Uh, sorry it was a bit of a long and slow one, but I will go ahead and do tons of mining between this episode and the next one. Uh, try to get some fortune on some more of these things. I want looting on the sword, fortune on uh, the hammer and the pickaxe, and I'll probably do some uh, nether uh, mob grinding and get some blazes taken care of for us so that we can get uh, a few nice little uh, delicacies as far as our uh, tools and stuff go for the hammer because there's a nice upgrade that I like to have on it, but I don't have what I need right now to do that. So I'll go and get that taken care of. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, uh, I hope you join me for the next one. See you guys next time.